So this is just a very short video to discuss uh, one setting that you'll find in the object tag when rendering with Octane for Cinema 4D. So I'm using the limo 02c 4 d scene, and it's just a really short animation showing this robot kind of moving along and the camera's zooming in. Now in previous versions of Octane, when you had a scene that had uh, geometry in it that was animating, you would need to set the uh, geometry tag, the Octane geometry tag, uh, you would have to set an option to tell Octane whether the object was a movable proxy or a static object or a scatter object or so on so that Octane knew what to do or how to load the geometry in the scene. You no longer need to do that, uh, which makes things much simpler. Um, so now if I create an object tag for uh, some geometry in the scene, so for example, a little bar bot here, I have a, a tag here, you just create Octane Cinema 4D object tag. And if we look in the settings under main, you'll see I have force updates. And this is disabled by default, and usually it's fine to leave it that way. Uh, but if you render out a batch uh, animation and you find a piece of geometry is not animating correctly, like it's not moving or something like that, then uh, you want to set this to enabled. So you want to force updates on that object just to solve that problem so that Octane knows to load the geometry in each frame of the scene as it renders a batch render. Uh, but most of the time you can leave this disabled, so it's something you only need to worry about if there's a problem with the scene. Uh, 